Former Republican President Donald Trump now ripping into Senate Republican Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. This came only days after Mr. McConnell blasted President Trump on the Senate floor. Washington correspondent Kelly Meyer joining us live right now as those tensions brew and Congress tries to work to pass the next COVID-19 relief package. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning, Bill. Well, we knew this wasn't the last we were going to hear from the former president. And this morning, he isn't hiding his feelings about the Republican leader, and he has a warning for other members of the GOP who stand by him. In a new statement, former President Donald Trump ripped into Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, writing, The Republican Party can never again be respected or strong with political leaders like Senator Mitch McConnell at its helm. Disgraceful. Dereliction of duty. Trump's statement comes just days after McConnell voted to acquit the former president in the Senate impeachment trial, but blasted Trump for the attack at the U.S. Capitol, saying Trump could still face consequences. President Trump is still liable for everything he did while he was in office. McConnell isn't the only one feeling the wrath of Trump and his supporters. Seven Republicans who voted to convict Trump are now facing backlash back home. North Carolina state GOP voted to censure Senator Richard Burr for finding Trump guilty. Burr said in a statement, My party's leadership has chosen loyalty to one man over the core principles of the Republican Party and the founders of our great nation. Trump left a warning for Republican senators who go against him. They won't win again. And one of Trump's closest allies in the Senate, Republican Senator Lindsey Graham from South Carolina, is standing by McConnell this morning, saying that Trump couldn't have gotten things done without him. But Graham also says that the party needs Donald Trump. You know, Kelly, I, I can't help but wonder, do you think all this back and forth is going to affect any effort to get a COVID bill passed? Well, that's the next big question. That's the next thing really on the plate here of Congress. And that requires, you know, Democrats and Republicans to work together. But what you're seeing here is not only a divide that we've seen between Democrats and Republicans with the vote in the Senate impeachment trial, but now this divide within the Republican Party. You're seeing the Trump wing of the party uh, shifting against maybe the establishment Republican Party of Mitch McConnell. And they not only have to bridge and figure out those divide, divides as they go forward, but also the divides between Republicans and Democrats and then work together and eventually try to pass this COVID re relief bill, which they're setting this deadline in just three weeks. Yeah, seems like now, of course, we always say the other side of the aisle, and now there are two aisles that everybody needs to get together. Uh, Kelly, certainly appreciate it. Thank you.